Good morning, beautiful people. I don't know what the light is like in here, but it is 7.30 in the morning and I'm cooking me some breakfast. We're gonna have some bacon, broccoli, and some scrambled eggs. Then I have to be out of here at eight o'clock, so I'm all packed up. Uh, people were asking me the other day, like, how are my feet? My feet are absolutely spot on. Um, a little bit dirty, but otherwise they're fine. You probably don't wanna see that while I'm about to have breakfast. Anyway. To be honest, I'm not massively hungry at this time in the morning and I very rarely eat before I do my walks. However, because I've I bought bacon and eggs and broccoli and I thought, oh, I don't want to carry that with me. So I thought, right, just cook it up now, then at least it's done. And we've had some food. I'm not doing a massive day today, only about 11 miles. So I've got loads of food, so it might actually last me for two more days, which would be awesome. Team, domestic goddess, wash. 7.55. Boom, let's go. Oh my God, my pack is so much heavier when I've got food in it. Left the building in three, two, one. So I think I'm normally pretty good with portion control with food. However, it all goes out the window when you do a massive day of big miles and you haven't eaten enough. And then you go food shopping and then you come back with all the food. And then you're just like, my body's like going, eat, 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 eat. And that is all I did, but I crammed it in from like 4.30 onwards, where I ended up having beef burger, onion, broccoli, followed by two bags of jelly sweets, followed by a whole packet of gluten-free cookies. I just seem to just keep on eating. And the problem is now, is my stomach. It's like, oh, it's uncomfortable. The weather wants to rain. Look at the sky look at that sky that is saying rain is forecast be prepared and hello cute little doggy how cute are you aren't you gorgeous Starting the morning with steps. Ugh. 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 Oh my god. Wearing a seven, seven kilogram pack. Super lightweight. Easy to run with. Gorgeous. Wonderful. Add in water. Add in a lot of food. Not quite as pleasant. I'd love to know how my pack, how much my pack weighs now. which is fantastic oh my god I'm getting a headache <laughs> like, loud conversations ahead of me loud conversations behind me you know when people are so loud you, you can't even hear yourself think I'm really intrigued to see what the next 70 odd miles 100 kilometers is gonna be like
seven to 12 and I've done 10 miles. I'm gonna start looking for somewhere to stay. Every time I see an alberge, let's knock on the door and be hola, do you have a bed? Team, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Walk straight in, got a bed. Uh, habitat number four, bed number 22. Let's go check it out. So it's all the way up here. She just kept saying to me, respect the bed, respect the bed. I was like, don't worry, respect the bed number basically. So as in like, stick to bed number 22. It's like, no problemo, no problemo. Just give me the goddamn bed. And then bed 22. 14, 24, 23, 22. Oh, this is so peaceful and so quiet. I love it. For my starter, I'm going to have melon. I'm going to eat half a melon. I think that'll be really good for my stomach. My next course, so demolish the melon. My next course, I'm going to have the gluten-free crackers with this um, Vivo Life Promos, whatever, lactose-free, gluten-free actually survived pretty well in my backpack and then I've got some chicken I'm going to sprinkle on top. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Good morning beautiful people, it is Friday the 2nd of June, it is 6 minutes past 9 in the morning. I'm the last person to leave the alberge. It's like first to arrive, last to leave. I'm so not in the mood. Oh, I've just started my period, I feel like a piece of crap. And to be honest, I think the maximum distance I'm going to be walking is 10 miles. So 5 miles to a city and then 5 miles after to another alberge. I haven't booked, I did try. Uh, it's one of these non-booking places. So, a little bit of go with the flow, but I'm gonna be buying some painkillers as soon as we get into the big city. That's all I wanna buy. Um, really, really great alberge. It's like a special building. Not a special building, it's like a brand new building that they've built. Uh, really nice rooms, no snorers. The Wi-Fi didn't reach the bedroom, that was fine. Um, yeah, really nice. So this is the town called Ferios, F-E-R-R-I-R-O-S. You, yeah, here we go. Here's the details. Ferios. Okay, let's get walking. We should be getting to around 100 kilometers now, 100 kilometers left to go. So let's go check out the sign as well. And this is cute, isn't it? Made of shells. That way. Hey team. Um, we have actually just passed the 100 kilometer sign. It was a bit crazy. Loads of people there getting photos and stuff. So we'll do the little video here at 99, 930. So definitely less than 100 kilometers to go. Would I walk 80 meters to get a stamp? Um, sorry, no, I wouldn't. Um, but I did get a nice photo. Lots of Korean people there who, all, who well, two of them wanted a photo taken with me. I think it's because um, Actually, I don't know why they wanted a photo taken with me, but I practiced some of my Korean. And I say, oh, which is hello, and kamsamnida, which is thank you. And they took a very nice picture of me. Oh, less than 100 kilometers to go, team. OMG. miles to go to get to the city so I've walked two miles so far very gentle very leisurely pace and that's okay it seems a lot quieter today which is lovely I much prefer it quieter but I'm wondering if it's because I started at nine o'clock instead of eight o'clock maybe that just one hour difference um really does have an impact that everyone else has already left at like seven eight and a 
you know, bombing it. And I'm now I just feel a bit more leisurely and a bit more relaxed and not quite as stressed because yesterday was actually, I felt very stressful. Um, There's so many people and everyone was just so loud and it was just like, oh, really, really intense. Um, whereas today it just seems a lot calmer, quieter, much more gentle. I mean, there's still, there's still hikers, you can see walkers, pilgrims. You can still see one, two, three, four people ahead. And obviously there's been quite a few cyclists as well going past, but nowhere near as busy as yesterday. So this is actually turning out to be, oh my God, fingers crossed, a very pleasant start to the day. Beautiful people, we've come to a junction. We are currently here, you are here, and we have two options. We can either carry on along the blue route, which is known as the alternative way, or we can carry on down the red route, um, which is the main way. This intrigues me, where it says it's a highly difficult pedestrian section. I really want to understand what their definition of highly difficult is, so I think that's the route I'm going to do. Um, I mean, you, we all end up at the same place. Basically, we need to get to B here, which is the bridge crossover. This is the city. I'm going to do a resupply in the city anyway before heading back out onto uh, the trail, either on the supplementary way or the main way. I still haven't reached the highly difficult section. And to be honest, I'm intrigued. Like, is there going to be ropes? Is it going to be hardcore scrambling? Is it just a little steep? Like, I mean, by the way, this section, this uh, is only about a, like a kilometre, like so 1k, so it's not a massive detour. And if it is that difficult, you can just turn around and come back. But honestly, I'm so intrigued. Like, my mind is going to all these places and it will just be interesting just to see what I do think of this highly difficult section. So I'm wondering if this is the highly difficult section and I'm wondering if they mean it more for if you're on a bike. Because if you're on a bike, this would be gnarly. I think it's just down these steps. I mean, obviously I don't want to get too arrogant and slip because, oh, that would not be good. Yeah, I can see why they have said highly difficult because I've got to remember actually that all ages do do the Camino. So if you're um, 70 years old, then you're probably going to be thinking, oh, this is a bit more challenging than normal. It'd be so funny if this wasn't the highly difficult section and then I come to another section and I'm just like, oh, this is what they meant. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do this on a bike. But walking, fine. No, no issue. Probably a fair description. Good job team, writing the descriptions. But we are coming to the bridge, across the river, into the city. Okay team, we've got one more statue to see, right there, and then let's go head in to find the supermarket and do a resupply. Down here on the left should be a supermarket, apparently a spa, we will soon see. Ah, supermercado, supermercado. Oh wait, is that open? Oh, it was a spa. It used to be a spa. It used to be a supermarket. Now it's closed. There is one, two, three, four. There's five more options. Well, that's not food. Supermercado. Is this one open? I'm the world's worst shopper in everything. Clothes, food, everything. Hate it. So far, I've bought some crisps. I've got no inspiration. I can tell I'm on my period because this is making me want to cry. Like, <laughs> got some guacamole and crisps, and I'm gonna sit in the sun somewhere and have some lunch. I also found some gluten free cookies, which I've had before, 
The problem with the gluten-free cookies is that I end up eating all of them in one go. <laughs> they're like three quid as well, like they're expensive cookies. A beautiful view of the bridge. This is a very, very cute little town. Nice little building. Very nice to get a stamp. But I don't think it's open. I'm actually, oh, there's just like statues everywhere. Statue over here, statue over here. So I've walked a grand total of six miles. I'm not overly pressured on distance, however, I do need, need to get into double figures. So let's go to the pharmacy, let's get some painkillers. Oh, my period pain. And then let's carry on walking. I'm not sure where these taxis are going or cars are going. Oh, team. I feel like a whole new woman. Pop two painkillers, boom. And then um, these gluten free, vegan, fibre, something or other are amazing and are making me feel incredible. Um, oh, plus the sun is shining. Oh, let's carry on walking on the Camino. Oh, I'm in such a better mood. <laughs> Time to leave the city of Porto Maria, which is actually a very, very nice city. Uh, we came in on a bridge over that way. You sort of walk up the stairs, go around the town, and then you sort of do this weird little loop thing to cross over this bridge. When we get to the other side, I think we're going to bang a left. 12.30 in the afternoon, I've done. It's saying 7.7, .7, but it's more like six and a half, seven, with a little added extra walking around up there. The next town I was going to stay at is actually five miles away. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Not because I can't make it, but I just don't know if I'm bothered to make it. So I think I will start looking for albergias. Basically, it's easy to cross this bridge. less than one mile to go to get to the town of Goza and that's where we're keeping our fingers crossed I think there are two albergas there so that white building is a hostel as well so that's option C I'm gonna try option A then there's B and then if they're both full I'll come back to C but it should be in the next hundred meters so the first place actually looked more like a bar stroke restaurant than an alberge. Uh, so now let's find the second place. Oh, I bet I should have just gone to that first hostel. We open at 1, 2.07. Uh, seems very quiet. Yeah, no problem at all. Are you busy? Are you busy? Are there lots of people? Lots no, of people. Only me. Only the first, yes. Ah, on the first, amazing. Up the stairs we go. So the only way I can get Wi-Fi is to turn my phone on, which I don't like doing because I have to pay for it. Uh, dormitory. Hello, hello, hello. Where would you go? Oh, there's no good beds sometimes. Probably, probably down here, away from the door, away from all people. Plug next to my bed. This will do very nicely. 